this video is all about finding the value of uh, x when given the square root of 3 all over 2 all raised to power 3x equal to 4 all over 9 all raised to power 4x squared so let's begin with this with the solution to this problem now we are given the square root of 3 all over 2 all raised to power 3x equal to 4 all over 9 all raised to power x squared now you know in sort in um, the in indices if you have the square root of m is the same thing as m raised to power half so that means this can be written in this form which is saying you have 3 all over 2 all raised to power half or raised to power 3x is equal to 4 all over 9 all raised to power x squared now you know if you according to the law of indices if you have m if you have m raised to power n all raised to power n this is the same thing as saying a raised to power m times n that is multiplying the power so now we're going to multiply the powers for this but before we do that this one this 4 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 2 why this 9 can be expressed as 3 raised to power 2 all raised to power x squared now before we apply this rule let's now see now you know according to the law of indices we have two raised to power let's say a raised to power m all over b raised to power m this is the same thing as saying a all over b all raised to power what m the same thing as you know, according to the law of indices so now what we're going to do now, we're going to say this, we're going to rewrite, rewrite this one again. It says 3 all over 2 all raised to power. Now, we'll apply this. So, half times 3x will give you 3x raised to power 2 equal to. Then this one, we'll apply this rule, which is 2 all over 3 all raised to power 2. Now, applying also this rule. You know this powers you multiply the power so we apply this rule so you have x square so that means we have applied this rule we have applied this rule in this case so that's what we'll get this value or i can just do it here applying this rule here so that you understand what i'm saying so that if i would now now let's apply this the rule here you have two all over three all raised to power 2 so i've applied this rule here now all raised to power x squared so here now we have this and this so here we're, we're going to apply this rule here this this particular rule this particular rule which is multiplying the powers then we also have to apply the same this same rule here multiplying these powers this times this you have this so that is it so now let's go back to the next page you have three all over two all raised to power three x all over two is equal to two all over three all raised to power what 2x raised to power 2. Now, I haven't gotten this. So now, if you have, let's say, a all over m, or let's say all over b, all raised to power, let's say, c 
Now, if you interchange this, if you now say B all over A, this will now be raised to power minus C. If you, if you interchange this, here will now become minus C. That is the law of indices. So now, now, so that is it. So now, it's just like saying this whole, this value inside, let me just show you how, what I mean by this whole thing is the same thing as what? This. The same thing as this. Because Y is the same. So it's just the same, but now let me now show you how it is the same. Now, you know. Now, if you have 2 all over 3, now, and you have, then, if you say 1 all over 3 all over 2, it's the same thing as this. It's the same thing, just like if you say, it's the same thing as that. So how can I prove that it's the same? Now, if you just say one, this is this here now, this one here is the same thing as one divided by three over two. So if you say one, if you want to change this sign, it's, you now reverse this. So you see, it's the same. So you see, it's the same with this. So that is why if you reverse this, you see, there is 1 all over 3 all over 2. If you reverse what is inside here, this 1 now is 3 all over 2 raised to the power minus 1. This is it. So if you reverse, now you have A all over B. If you now put B all over A, there should be a minus, minus 1 multiplied to multiply the powers. So that is it. So now that is what we're going to apply here. Now we are going to say 3 all over 2 all to the power 3x all over 2 is equal to what? Now, reversing this, you have, we are not going, we are now going to have what we call 2, for, uh, 3, 3 all over 2, all raised to the power minus 2x squared. So, we are applying this rule here. Now, now, since we have gotten the base, since the bases are the same, since the bases are the same, you equ we equate the powers. So we equate the powers. So that means 3x over 2 is equal to what? Minus 2x squared. So now, now let's move this one to this other side. You have 2x squared plus, we're moving this to this other side, 2x square plus 3x all over 2 equal to what? 0. Now we have 2x square plus 3x all over 2 equal to 0. So now we need to now factorize this. So to factorize this, what is common? Now, but before we do that, let's divide all through by what? 2. So we divide this by 2, divide this by 2. So we now have these two will cancel out this. You have x squared plus this will now be 3x all over 2 divided by 2 equal to 0. So you have x squared plus 3x all over 2 times. Now you, you reverse, you inverse this. This is 2 over 1. So you have 1 all over 2 is equal to 0. Although I would have just multiplied this denominator by two, by these two. But I want some other people to understand what we're doing. So now, we now have x squared plus 3x times 1 will be 3x. 2 times 2 will give you 4. It's equal to 0. So now, 
the, the, the common, something that is common to both of them is x. So we have x. So x divide two x squared divided by x, you have x. Now x divided by plus 3x all over 4, you have plus 3 all over 4. What is 0? That means x is equal to 0 or minus 3 all over 4. Because, okay, let me just explain why. Now, x is equal to 0 or x plus 3 over 4 is equal to 0. Now, this one, x is 0 written. Now, here, if you move this to this other side, it becomes x is equal to minus 3 all over 4. So that is the final answer. So x is equal to zero or x is equal to three. So now let's check the let's check. Let's verify. Now for for x equal to zero, you have this the cube root of three all over two all raised to power three x is equal to four all over nine raised to power x squared. Now, if you check, if you put 0 here and 0 here, so now anything raised to power 0 is 1. This is 1. So this is correct on itself. So now, if we now substitute minus 3 all over 4 into this equation, now you have, so for x equal to minus 3 all over 4, so we now have, we now have, the square root of 3 all over 4, sorry, 3 all over 2, all raised to power 3x equal to 4 all over, all over 9 raised to power x squared. So now let's first look at the, the let's now, for this is 3 all over 2, all raised to power 3x, 3x. The x is minus 3 all over 4. Now you have here 4 all over 9 raised to power. This one is 3x. So 3 all over 4 minus 3 all over 4, 4 squared. So now this will give you already this is the same thing as 3 all over 2 all raised to power 1 over 2. Just like what I explained the other time. That's if you have square root of m is the same thing as m raised to power half. So 3 times minus 3 all over 4 will give you minus 9 all over 4. Then this will be 4 all over 9. This square will give you 9 all over 16. Minus 3 all over 4 square will give you 9 all over 16. So So this one, we apply the rule, the law of indices, where you say m, a raised to power m, all raised to power n, is the same thing as a raised to power m times n. So you multiply the powers. So if you multiply these powers, you have 3 all over 2, all raised to power minus 9 all over 8, is equal to what? 4 all over 9 or raised to power what? 9 all over 16 this is 8 now we want we want this one now for us to we want this Now let me let's now look at it where it will be. Now you have minus nine all over eight. So for us to remove this minus, we reverse this. So if you reverse it, the minus will cancel out. So meaning that okay, let me just write it. This value, this one inside is the same thing as one all over two over three minus 9 all over 8 
is equal to this one inside is 2 raised to power 2, 4 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 2, 3, 9 is the same thing as 3 raised to power 2, or raised to power 9 all over 16. Now, we have this. So, 3 over 2 is the same thing as 1 all over 2 over 3. So, this is the same thing as 2 over 3, all raised to power minus 1, all raised to power minus 9 all over 8. It's equal to this one if you factor. This one is the same thing as, okay? Let me go back to... Let me go to the next page. You have 2 all over 3 raised to power minus 1 all raised to power minus 9 over 8 is equal to is equal to 2 raised to power 2 all over 3 raised to power 2 all raised to power 9 over 16. Now 2 raised to power 2 all over 3 raised to power 2 is the same thing as 2 all over 3, all raised to power 2. The same thing. So now let's substitute this same value into here. So you now have 2 all over 3, all raised to power. Now, you know, the way this, you multiply the powers, minus 1 times minus 9 all over 8 will give you 9 all over 8, which will be equal to this will now be 2 all over 3, all raised to power 2. All raised to power 9 over 16. Now you have 2 all over 3, all raised to power 9 over 8. And this it should be equal to, now you multiply the powers just like what we did. You say a raised to power m, all raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m times n. So we multiply the powers, you now have 2 all over 3, all raised to power 2 times 9 all over 16. So this, so 2 divided is 7, 1, 2 divided is 8. So you have 2 all over 3, all raised to power 9 over what? 8. So if you check, this is equal to this. So they are the same. So they are the same. So that means this the, the value of x is equal to 0 or minus 3 over 4. These are the values of x. Now, these are the values, the real values of x. The real, for real numbers. So, there is no imaginary number here. So, that is it. So, thank you for watching to the end. Have a nice day.